Hi everyone, welcome to a short video on inserting images in your Google site web page. So let's go to a little sandbox here we've got working and the first thing we need to do is to edit the page that we want to insert the images. So we'll edit this particular page. Be sure to place your cursor where you would like that image to go. So we'll just leave the cursor right there. We go to the insert menu and we select image. Now there are two ways to add an image. One is to bring it up from your computer that you have stored or from a web address. Let's start with the first one. All you need to do is click on the browse button and you'll be able to browse your computer for any images that you have, whether it's your desktop or folders. I happen to be on a Mac here, but it could also be uh, in your uh, picture folder on your PC. You can bring up images that are JPEGs or screenshots. So if you do take a screenshot of something, here's a, here's a screenshot, just have to select the screenshot. It will upload it to the cloud here. As you can see, it's just taking a moment to do so. And once it's uploaded, it will display in this small area here. And we have it selected, we click OK. And that image will be placed on the page and immediately you're given some tools don't panic if you don't see those if you click away by accident all you have to do is to click right on the image itself and you will get some some editing tools not many but a few we do have some alignment where you can align that image on that page there's our center alignment and our left alignment let's bring it on back we do change the we can change the size just a little bit so here's the original size as you can see here larger version which is a little pixelated go to medium and small and back to the original so you do have some changes in size and we do have a text wrap area here where you can turn text wrap on we also have a little x where you can actually remove the image and start over again here's a nice little feature that i like though under here link goes to you can actually change this turn the image into a link so if we click on change, if we insert a web address here, it will actually take us to that web address. So you can turn an image into a link as well. Nice little feature. Let's cancel that. So to remove this image, all I need to do is to click on the X, and that image is gone. Place my cursor where I would like. Go to Insert Image. And it's still there and any more that I bring up for this particular page will be listed there as well so I can insert that image once again and there we go and click away right, let's move our cursor down a couple places and let's add a different image so we go to insert image and we go from a web address and if you found an image on the web that you have a URL for, you just have to paste the URL here and the image will appear in this area. If it does not, that means the URL is not correct. So let's give that a try. I have a, another web address open up here. So a lot of people use Google Images. Let's go to Obama and do an image search. Now the question I always ask right away is, can I actually use this image? Well, there's a nice trick in Google Image to answer that question. I go up to my gearbox and look for advanced search. And I select advanced search. And I slide down and I should find usage rights. And here we go, usage rights. A lot of different usage rights here. So I'm going to filter based on uh, free to use or share. I'm going to select that and click advanced search. So technically, these pictures that are showing up now I am able to use in my project. So I'm going to click on a picture that I like. And here's a picture. And I'm going to continue to click on this picture until I get the exclusive URL for that. So I'm still on a website, but I'm going to now click on that image until just that image appears. And up at the top, I do have a URL that ends in .jpg. That's a key right there. So I'll copy that, go back to Insert Images, and I will paste that image and there we go the picture does show up that's a good thing and click on OK now I can don't worry about this it looks awful big but I can adjust the size right away can I by clicking on maybe the small that's a little bit more workable and I can do I can align that image where I would like now one last thing before we leave images something that uh, has been popping up let me go back and to 
I'll remove this first of all and reinsert that image remember it should be in memory and here we go we've had that mem that uh, image when we insert an image it often asks for the alternate text and it's a nice idea to type in just a, a word or two about that image in case a website is reading these for someone who has a, a visually visual impairment of some sort and software that is reading that so I'll just type in a Google site icon and select it and click OK it doesn't really change anything here but it is something that is useful for the visually impaired of course now I'm gonna save my page and the work that I've done well thanks for watching hope you found this video helpful have a good day